everybody how are you all doing how has your day been how has the week been as well I'm just going to wait a bit to see if anybody joins this live let me tag let me just tag a few people before i start today has been my recording day i've been recording my videos you know for other things youtube if you haven't joined me on youtube if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel go and check it out it is called glorious glow empowerment okay glorious glow empowerment i'll put a link to the channel on this um live once i'm done but let me tag some people, see if they can join me on this um, live video. And then we will be carrying on. Let me just tag a few people. Yep. And then we will carry on chatting. I really want to know what you guys are doing about finding your purpose or are you just um, tagging along and doing anything and whatever life throws at you yep i think that's it i'm done tagging tag two more and that's it so i've just tagged a few people bring them on okay it says rose hi rose is watching i've just waved back at you <laughs> so i've tagged a few people if you are watching hi vanessa thanks for joining me how are you today <laughs> it's been a while <laughs> thanks to everyone who has joined do say hello when you join in okay so I'll be sharing some tips on how to find your purpose. So before I carry on, tell me, are you working in your purpose? Just leave a comment in the, tell me in the comment section. Okay. Do you feel what you're doing? It's your primary assignment for being on earth. Let me know in the comment section. Or do you feel you've got a few minutes? Okay. <laughs> That's fine. Thanks, Vanessa. I appreciate that. So if you're working in your purpose, just tell me, say yes in the comment section. And if you feel all is good, awesome, Vanessa, that's good. Good to hear that. Trust you are keeping safe as well where you are. Please keep safe, whatever you do, wherever you go. So as it's been a day of recording for me. And I've decided to come into the group as well to share with the women in here, the awesome women. And... Many, as you all know, I coach ladies, you know, I help people find out their God-given assignments on earth. Because as you know, we are here for a specific reason. Nobody's here by accident. We are here for a specific purpose. And it would be a waste to leave this earth and not, I'm working in my purpose. Awesome, Vanessa. That's good. You're working in your purpose. Yes, I know. <laughs> I know. That's good. You know, it would be a shame not to fulfill that God-given purpose while, while on earth, you know. So that's why I am passionate about helping women, you know, because I believe that when you equip a woman, wow, you are equipping a whole community. And not only a community, in fact, you are equipping a generation, generations to come, even generations after her, generations after generation because you are, you are sowing a seed and that seed is going to grow. That's why I love working with women. I love working with women. Once you impact them, that's it. There's no stopping a woman that has been equipped and empowered to be who she has been designed, you know, to be or created to be. So many times people find it daunting. Where can they start from? You know, what do they have to do? How can they go about it? 
That's why I work as a coach, you know. Work, I work side by side with you until you are comfortable enough and you know that, yes, this is what you are meant to be doing. Some get confused. They start and then halfway they say, no, I don't think so. That's okay as well. You don't have to get it all right from the beginning. It doesn't have to be perfect, okay? So many people today find themselves in jobs where they're not fulfilled. They're not happy, but they stay there because it's a source of income, right? We have bills. <laughs> we have to pay our bills. We have so many things to do. And you just carry on doing that job or business, you know, doing the mundane day in, day out. Yes, we are saving sewing yeah into women's lives daily also yes vanessa i agree so women we just keep sometimes people just keep doing the same things you wake up you go to work you come back take care of the family eat dinner go to bed repeat the same thing the next day yeah and then you're on autopilot. Vanessa says it's such a rewarding, yes, it's a rewarding experience. Totally agree with that. It is. Okay. So you are living on autopilot without actually fulfilling or even knowing why you are here. What are you here for? You don't know. Thanks for the love. Thanks for the heart. I really appreciate that, Vanessa. <laughs> so you don't know why you are here. And I heard, um, oh, who is that famous speaker? Was it Wayne Dyer? Yes, I think Wayne Dyer, he said, the richest, was, correct me if I'm wrong. If you know who said this, let me know. Or was it, um, anyway, he said, this person said, the richest place is the graveyard because it's filled with talents, you know, lots of talents in there, people who haven't discovered you know, their, their gifts and their purpose before they left the earth. And that's a shame, really. As you all know, we have human beings, we have a limited time, a beginning and an end. So what do you do with the middle, what you have in between? How do you occupy that time? How do you use that time? Are you using your time well before the end comes? And don't say you're going to do it tomorrow. How do you know? How are you sure of tomorrow? Nobody is sure of tomorrow. So the time we have is now. This is not trying to make you scared or worried, but it's just the truth. Okay? Nobody knows tomorrow. So use the time well. Time to discover your purpose. Why you are here. What are you here for? Okay? Now, the first tip I'm going to share with you is a decision. Decision. You have to decide. Nobody can make that decision for you. You have to decide on what you want to achieve in various aspects of your life. Okay? In your marital life, if you are married, what do you hope? Why are you married? I mean, are you just married because your culture says you should be married? It's a cultural thing. Or what's the purpose? What's the impact? Why are you having children? What are you, how are you impacting your partner or your children? Use your time well. Exactly, Vanessa. Yes. Okay. Have clear goals. Decide. Have clear goals. Give yourself a time frame or a deadline. But you know, when you would like to achieve these things, these goals you have set. Make a decision. Exactly. Number one, make a decision. So once you have decided, write your goals down. Give yourself a time frame. Five years, 10 years, 15 years. Where do you see yourself by that time? Okay. Once you have that set and you have made that decision, it will help you set your priorities right. You have, you know, you say, okay, I want to achieve this first and achieve that next and achieve this, you know, so... It gives you a focus. So that's number one. Number two, discipline. <laughs> now you have decided on what you want to do, who, who you are, what you want to become. Now you have to be disciplined, okay? What is that thing that gives you joy, that makes you wake up with a spring in your step every morning, okay? Now, 
once you had you have your goals discipline to organize your goals into a list you are prioritizing remember organize your goals into a list once you have your list this massive list now work backwards break each goal down into small achievable tasks okay number two discipline thanks vanessa for putting it down <laughs> so you must be disciplined to write your goals down think towards the end and walk backwards now break your goals into smaller chunks okay small achievable tasks all right for example you want to um, maybe learn to play an instrument, okay? So your goal is you want to be a recognized, maybe keyboardist, but you don't know how to. What do you do? You look for a qualified teacher, get them to teach you, right? So once you get your qualified teacher, your goal is to become a recognized keyboardist, maybe worldwide. You don't know, you don't have the skills, the first thing, you set a goal. Look for a teacher. Now you have a teacher. The next step, you break your goal down. How do you want to achieve this? Are you going to have lessons weekly? These are smaller tasks now. Okay, weekly lessons, once a week. How long will your lessons be? One hour, two hours, half an hour? You decide. Or do you want to have your lessons fortnightly, monthly? So you are breaking it down into smaller achievable tasks, okay? There's a saying, how do you eat an elephant? Do you eat an elephant all at once? No. You eat an elephant one bite at a time, all right? One bite at a time. So once you have your goal and you have broken them into smaller tasks, it makes it possible. It, may, it becomes more realistic and makes it achievable, is something you can achieve okay now the next thing number three determination <laughs> you have to be determined to follow your plans through okay number three determination don't give up halfway maybe there's a difficulty or some something comes in and distracts you and then you say, oh, this is too much. I can't do this, you know. There's no point. And then you give up. You can't achieve your dreams. You can't achieve your purpose that way. You have to be determined, okay, to take action immediately. Don't procrastinate. Take action immediately and then move towards achieving your goals Yes, number three, determination. <laughs> Thanks, Vanessa. Yes, so you have to be determined, all right? Remember, you are a star and stars are meant to shine. So don't stay in your house mourning, complaining, grumbling and because you are watching other people. That, oh, how are they doing that? How come? They may not be as confident as they seem. They started somewhere. So you have to decide, number one, okay? Decide that enough is enough. You are going to make a change and apply that discipline to see your plans through. And number three, be determined that nothing is going to stop you or hold you back. It doesn't matter how long it takes, you know? Nothing is going to stop you. There's a saying, write your vision down and make it plain. So you have all these big plans, all these big goals, write them down. Don't just be a dreamer. Dreamers don't achieve anything without action. Okay? So the key is to, act to um, fulfilling your purpose, action. You know, follow these three steps and put action to it. Dream plus action equals destiny okay you get to your destiny you get to your purpose by doing all this irrespective of whatever your purpose or dream is let your light shine bright yes let your light shine everybody it is time to let your light shine enough is enough 
of living a mediocre, you know, life and everything and not sure. This is why we have coaches, people to help you. If you're not sure how to go about it, send me a message, DM me, and I'll be happy. I'll be glad to walk along the way with you. Okay. Now, I have a women's conference coming up in July. It will be great to see you all there. The 11th of July, specifically. And we are going to be starting 10.30 a.m. It's online. It's going to be online because of COVID-19 this year. It's going to be online. I have amazing speakers coming. Three other women and myself, we're all going to be talking on ways to understand your purpose, your dreams, and how to make a profit from your purpose. Some people are scared of pursuing their purpose because they feel, how can they earn a living? You can, you can earn a living from your purpose. Thank you so much, Vanessa. I really appreciate all the love, all the hearts and everything. Thanks for being active on this live video. I really appreciate that. So ladies, I would like to see you on the 11th of July. It'd be great to see you all there. Okay, it's going to be online. Like I said, I would leave a link. You can get your tickets. Yes, you have to purchase a ticket to attend. Get your tickets and let's rub minds together. Let's make it an amazing day. Okay, I'm here today talking to you. I didn't start from here. You know, you can ask Vanessa. <laughs> I've come a long way with Vanessa. <laughs> when I first started, I couldn't come live. You know, I was a very shy girl you know woman woman and all that i couldn't really i i was like scared oh my god i have to do a live video and all of this and all of that <laughs> and i was like oh then i contacted vanessa you know she um coaches women you know makes you bold and confident to be a great speaker and everything you know <laughs> she's laughing <laughs> so today um you know, we had I had a I had sessions with Vanessa, and she said, "You can do this. You can do it." I'm like, "Really? Oh my God!" You know, so little by little, gradually, I started. You know, started coming on live. You know, even though it was it's not perfect, I just did something and quickly ran away <laughs> and all that. But today, you may look at me. You have the videos to prove. Yes. <laughs> It's interesting, isn't it? <laughs> you may look at me now and say, oh, oh, look at Glory talking live, you know, blah, blah, blah. Oh, thank you. Thanks, Vanessa. <laughs> you know, and say, Glory is doing this. Today, I am, I host conferences. Last year, you know, we had one and it was amazing. You can see the pictures on my website. And this year, I'm not stopping because of COVID-19. I'm carrying on because I'm determined, okay, to fulfill my purpose. Nothing is going to hold me back. And this group, there are so many women in here, and I want you to come along. You know, come along, fulfill your purpose. Don't die with your music still playing in you. You have a lot of music in you. Don't let it waste. And if you can come into your own, there are so many people you, you can take along. There are so many people that will say, wow, look at that lady doing it. They, they will be encouraged to do it too. So that's my message today. Oh, Vanessa, I appreciate your um, coming on and staying to the end. <laughs> I really appreciate you, Vanessa. Thank you so much for encouraging me those years ago and all of that <laughs> that's what i said you know when you empower a woman you empower generations so that seed vanessa sowed hasn't gone to waste and i'm going to help other women as well so that's the way it is so your own seed once you take that decision and you are bold you will affect so many other women so many other people male female children everybody so, ladies, I would like to see you on the 11th of July. Till I come your way again, whatever you do, take care, stay safe, and stay blessed. God bless you. Bye. Bye, Vanessa. Bye. God bless. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. If you watch the replay, do leave a comment as well. Bye.